Lab. Have you ever used one of these before? It's a globe of the Earth and it's pretty useful too. It shows us that the Earth is spherical in shape. The Earth rotates about its axis and that it is tilted at an angle as it rotates. This globe also shows borders and names of different countries. I think I'll use it to plan my next holiday. Hmm. But there's one thing the globe doesn't show, and that's what's inside the Earth. The Earth is made up of layers, and each layer is different in its composition and temperature. Let's take a look at each layer and make a model as we go along. The Earth has four distinct layers, so I'm going to use four colours of modelling clay to make my model. The innermost layer of the Earth is the inner core. It is a solid sphere of iron, and nickel and has a diameter of about 1,200 kilometers. It's the hottest part of the Earth and it has a temperature of about 5,200 degrees Celsius. Because it's so hot in the inner core, I'm going to use a ball of yellow clay to represent it. Surrounding the inner core is the outer core, composed primarily of iron and some nickel. It has a thickness of about 2,200 kilometres, with temperatures ranging from 2,730 to 4,230 degrees Celsius. OK, so it's not as hot as the inner core, so my outer core will be red. I find it easier to put the outer core together in pieces, then roll it into a ball again. Surrounding the outer core is a layer called the mantle. It has a thickness of about 2,900 kilometres and is comprised of hot solid and molten rock. For my mantle, I'm going to flatten a piece of orange clay and wrap it around the outer core. Cool! Earth's crust is the outermost layer. It's the layer we live on. It is composed of a variety of igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary rocks. Its depth ranges from 5 to 70 kilometres and its temperature ranges from the temperature of Earth's surface to about 400 degrees Celsius. We know the Earth's oceans look blue from space, so I'm going to use a thin layer of blue clay. I'll also add some splashes of green to show land too. So there you have it, a model of the Earth. Now the fun part, I'll carefully cut the Earth in half to reveal the layers. Wow, it looks fantastic! 